Good morning, Fellowship High Crest fam, and this is your jump start for Monday, August 23rd, 2021. And our focal passage is 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verses 1 through 20. But I'm only going to read the first five verses, and here's what it says. It says, Then King David turned to the entire assembly and said, My son Solomon, whom God has clearly chosen as the next king of Israel, is still young and inexperienced. The work ahead of him is enormous. For the temple he will build is not for mere mortals. It is for the Lord God himself. Using every resource at my command, I have gathered as much as I could for the building the temple of my God. Now there is enough gold, silver, bronze, iron, and wood, as well as great quantities of onyx, other precious stones, costly jewels, and all kinds of fine stone and marble. And now because of my devotion to the temple of, God, of my God, I'm giving all of my own private treasures of gold and silver to help in the construction. This is in addition to the building materials I have already collected for his holy temple. I am donating more than 112 tons of gold from Ophir and 262 tons of refined silver to be used for overlaying the walls of the buildings and for the other gold and silver work to be done by the craftsmen. Now then, who will follow my example and give offerings to the Lord today? Um, so David wanted to build a temple for God because uh, until this point, um, when the people got ready to worship, they had a temporary house, a, a tent, a tabernacle. And David realized that as they moved into the promised land and set up camp, they had built houses and all these different things, and they had left um, the place where they worship as just a tent. And he wanted to correct things, but God said, hey, you're not the one that's going to get to do this. Your son is going to be the one. And this is profound as David saw something that Man, he wanted to see achieve, but he wasn't going to get to do it in his lifetime. And so it's going to be for the next generation. And being a leader, David said, while I can't build it, I can resource it. Sometimes we're going to be a call to be a part of something. God is going to give us a vision that we won't get to build ourselves, but we'll be a part of resourcing. Leaders eat last and sacrifice first. Those who you choose to follow, you need to watch and see if they're doing the same. Leaders eat last and sacrifice first. Continue to power up, pour in, and spill out. Have a great day.